forecast today is the hottest day in the UK ever. We could have a potential 40 degrees today and I'm on track. I'm at Donington Park with Pirelli. We've got the GSX-R. This is the first time the bike's had a proper sort of track shakedown so I can test out the front brakes. Um, I've got a new set of Pirelli Rosso Corsa 4s on there to test as well. So it should be a good day. World Superbike was here yesterday, so there's plenty of sticky rubber being laid on the track and we're certainly not going to need any wets today. It's, it's, seven, it's about half eight in the morning and already it's about 21 degrees. So uh, forecasted 40 degrees today, so plenty of water. I'm going to be taking it easy, but it should be a fantastic day. Are you ready for some track action? Chopsy, roll the intro. <laughs> There is the bike ready to go with its new rubber. I actually did a airfield riding day Saturday, which was, it's now Monday, so I'm still actually aching from uh, being on track on Saturday and I'm back out on track again today. So uh, that is it. We're gonna see how she handles. Um, like my glasses, by the way. I may not be on brand. Sorry, Suzuki. So it should be good. Never done Donny before. Um, looked at some onboards. You know, I have been to Donington in the past. I, last time I came here was to watch uh, the 500 GP with Rainy Swans. Um, yeah, so that, that's how long ago it was. The Grand Prix with Rainy and Swans was the last time I came to this circuit. And obviously, oh, I was watching. I wasn't riding. So the bikes are warming up. So's the temperature. It must be about 25 by now, 23, 24. Fast groups warming up to go out. We've got Rutter here. Uh, we've got a couple of other BS boys here. There's an Olin suspension guy here as well. So I'm gonna, they're doing free setup. So I'm gonna take the GSXR down to them, get the suspension set up while I'm here. Why wouldn't you? Um, that's about it, I think. So basically I'm just gonna take it easy. I'm not gonna overdo it. It's gonna be a long, hard, hot day today. So uh, let's see how we get on. We've got John Uri here from MCN. He's got an old original R1. So uh, I'm not the only one with the modern classic out there today. John is here with his R1. And then we've got Liz doing an Instagram bit. There she is on uh, her pinky. Her <laughs> S1000RR. She's in the uh, Dinsers group. Fast group is just doing their uh, sighting laps. So it's quite good because uh, BSB, sorry, BSB World Superbike was here yesterday all weekend. So there's going to be plenty of rubber laid down on the circuit. And I think, they're the, I think they broke some lap records. I think 126 was the World Superbike lap. So if I can get 132, <laughs> 152, I'll be happy. <laughs>
Okay, first session done, absolutely mega. Absolutely mega out there. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Oh, that was so good. Such a good circuit, it's unbelievable. The view you get as you come around the first bend and the crane of curves and that in front of you. Oh, it's brilliant, really, really good. So, uh, quick rest, make sure I take on some fluids and uh, back out for the next session in a minute. Ducati's here as well. So Ducati have got a, a few people riding a few of their bikes. New uh, Panigale. We've got Luna on here as well. Oh, V2 Panigale, super sport. And I think Tim Rhodes is out riding one of the uh, Ducatis somewhere. Here he is, we've got uh, Chad on his long-termer, his super adventure. Session two. So that's uh, session two done. I'm loving the circuit, but I'm at the stage now where I'm starting to push and I could get it wrong because I don't really know it that well. So I think I know it, but that's when accidents could happen. And there was a chap who crashed right before me at the first corner. I don't know what it's called. Uh, in that session, it's probably on camera. I did have it rolling. So someone's crashed in front of me. Session was red flagged, but um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Lots of free water going around as well it's uh, it's going to be scorching but it's not too bad yet not too bad yet there's the tires so we're getting the older uh, peelies coming on so we've got a decent bit of speed and on the left hand side but yeah these are dual compounds so you've got a harder compound in the middle on these that these are the pirelli rosso corsa four so hard compound in the middle and then you've got super corsa equivalent compound on the outside so a bit of longevity with a harder center but yeah i've been impressed been impressed. Session three.
Yeah. yeah. That was session four done, so bikes working were really, really well, but I'm noticing a little bit of, well, I don't know, it was sort of digging in a bit here at the tyre. Could be suspension, but what Pirelli have laid on, we've got a couple of Olin's techs here to uh, go through the bike. And then what can be adjusted on these, this is all completely standard, so I know the rear shocks aren't great on these, and it's yeah, 14 I years mean, old, and I don't know what's happening yeah, to it. Yeah, but we can still, we can still improve still it. Still so do something. All, all we generally do is just go through it. Um, we'll, we'll take all the, all the settings, you know, the positions that you're at at the moment, Yeah. write, write them on a setup sheet, and then um, we'll sit you on the bike, and, um, and then just set the sag values. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. That, all that ge ge generally is, is the dis distance from fully extended to you sat on it so um it just um helps us get the ride height correct the overall balance of the bike then um we'll send you out see how you feel and um if you want any other changes later on we'll brilliant change oh, that sounds fantastic yeah. fantastic obviously being a bigger guy i suspect it's the springs of yeah need probably be a upgrading and and how much <laughs> that's what i'm expecting on a, on a standard spring yeah it might want to go up a couple of rates yeah. but we'll see Just write down what it is at the moment, and then uh, you've got a base setting, as it were. There. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Can you do much with the suspension on these? these sort of older bikes. I guess it all depends on the condition yeah, of the suspension, no, really. No, I can. Yeah, can yeah. you? No, I mean, they're still they're still double adjustable, and you've got spring preloads. So yeah. There's still, you know, lots of things you can do with them. Static sag adjustments, and then when I get on it, you see how much it sinks. See if it's beyond the range that you need the travel to be. So if I'm using, you know, if all the suspension's gone just to be sitting on it, there's none left to absorb the bumps. That's the uh, idea behind it. Check the maximum travel, free sag. How much you got left? Anything? Well, I think it's, um, the free sag is not too bad. Yeah. But obviously you are, what's the bigger guy? It's my weight. About, to, about 20 okay. stone. Kilograms, you know, kilograms? Oh, uh, kilos? Yeah, I don't know. 140 something. Yeah, it's not that much, is it? Yes, yeah, 127. So 127. 127. 127. 127 plus 127. So you're oh, plus talking, a kit. Yeah, 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 yeah. 130, sorry, yeah, 130 kit. something like that. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll we'll, pre we'll preload it and so that we can get the ride out higher. Yeah. But um, we don't want to completely run out of. And then you just maximum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah because yeah. what will happen is. Um, it, it makes it quite unstable on brakes then. Like if you uh, don't have a lot of rear sags, obviously as you get on the brakes, it just tops out immediately uh, and okay, you find you don't, um, right. no, yes. don't want that. Do you have a lot there? Uh, yeah, I did actually. I think, well, I didn't just, the one I just done was probably my best, but last session, I think it was a 153 was my best one. 30 seconds off the <laughs> what super pipe well, boys. You do the chase, you will be able at least to Yeah. Yeah, oh, that'll be another 10 seconds. It's probably worth 10 <laughs> seconds, isn't it? If, if I don't get 10 seconds, I'll be disappointed. <laughs> 50, 150, yeah, 153, yeah. 149s. 149s, you think, yeah. <laughs> so that's the suspension set. I'm going to go back after the next session, let them check it again. Um, interestingly, the f springs in the forks are okay. Well, he, he thinks they're okay. Obviously, we, he's put a zip tie on the, on the stanchion to see how much movement we've got after the session. But the rear shock, the spring's not adequate. He probably says you need to go up a couple of the spring specs. Um, they put a bit, about two extra turns of preload into the shock, but he doesn't want to do any more than that or it will destroy the static sag, you know? And he says you'll get the bike riding up and in, you know, heavily on the brakes and stuff like that. So he thinks I'm going to see a big difference. He says, as it was, you were probably being pushed wide and struggling to meet the apexes and getting pushed out. So in thinking about it, that has been the case at the, at the turn, at the uh, first turn after the main strength. So we're going to do a session, see how it feels, and then go back and let them look at the, uh, the travel movement on the forks and whatnot until we go from there. But I'm really glad I got that done, spot on.
are melting, literally melting. <laughs> Proper hot. But that was the first session after lunch. Um, it's about 36 degrees now. Proper hot. Bike's been amazing. I'm taking a little bit easy on it, short shifting a little bit. You know, I don't want to absolutely rag it in this heat because it is really getting warm. Tires are performing great though. I thought I might start to get a few squirms, you know, because they've probably been overheated now, to be honest. I don't think there's going to be any tire left at the end of the day. It's so hot, it's absolutely destroying them. Suspension has been set up and I think it does feel a little bit nicer actually. A little bit more controlled on corner exit perhaps. It's hard to tell. The zip tie they put on, I'm, I'm bottom, bottoming the front end out. I'm guessing under braking. I'm going caught my new fancy brake setup. The brakes are amazing. So uh, yeah, I think I'm bottoming it out under braking, but because the, the front end is quite firm on the road anyway, so I'm a little bit reluctant. If they do change it, I may have to just drop it back a couple of clicks for the road because it's quite a harsh front end anyway on this. So I don't want to make it harsher for, for road riding because this is my comfortable road bike as well as my track weapon. Did you see I'm, I'm, right, I'm right down I was? Yeah, I did. So you put a bit on for me. Second. How much did you put in? How many clicks? Two, two lines. Oh, two lines. In the five, in the okay. Fifth line. Now it's in the second line. Okay, two so lines on the front. Yeah, you will have more support now okay. in brakes. Especially in brakes, you know? Yeah. It's kind of hard now. <laughs> we'll see how it is when I come in again. How is the lot of time? I haven't, I've been to check, I haven't checked yeah, yet. Yeah, okay, I've no got worries. a check no, in a no, sec. No, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've got it. I will check for the end of the day yeah, and I'll I let you know. To... Brilliant. Thank you very Bye. much. Enjoy. Thank you.
what a day it's been. Um, don't know where to start, really. First of all, let's talk about the track, Donington Park. What an amazing circuit. I've done most of the top circuits in the UK now. Cadwell Park, Alton Park, Donington Park, Brands Hatch, Silverstone. Donington Park's right up there. I think Alton Park's fantastic. Cadwell's a bit different, but I think Donington Park. Some of those sweepers, it's just incredible. So really, really enjoyed it. Obviously, it's been so hot today. It's been unbelievable. The hottest day ever in the UK so far. I think we've seen 36, 37 degrees today. It's like I'm in Greece, but a bit more moist than Greece. So I've been absolutely melting all day, but it's been amazing. The tyres have coped with this heat incredibly well. Tires have, you know, the tyres have had a good old mincing round there. Um, on the softer part of the tire on the outside of the tire on the outside of the wheel I'm sort of almost getting close to the wear bars you know if I'd done a couple more sessions I think I would have destroyed the tires completely but um, no moments no you know when I've got the corner slightly wrong there's been more there you know they've been very forgiving so considering these aren't the full super courses these are a road track tire really impressive so but there we go that's about it really huge thanks to Pirelli for the invitation it's been amazing the bike's in one piece I'm uninjured, I haven't melted, I've got my winner's cap. I'll call that a successful day. See you next time, guys.